ありがとうございました Ladies and gentlemen We will arrive at Kamitochi Bus Terminal Please be sure not to forget your belongings when you get off the bus Thank you for riding with us I want to like scream every two seconds. It's like 5.30 in the morning, so I really shouldn't. Wow. No way, no way. I shouldn't have said anything. Should have said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just pretend we're just just casually going uphill. No biggie. Would you rate the 
difficulty of this hike so far. Seven. <laughs> yeah. We definitely started this hike a little later than we should have. Living quite fast. It's also why there's not a whole lot of tripod shots in this, this part of the video. <laughs> Trying to make good time to get to the top. I've been going for, on the trail, an hour and 15. Two and a half hours to the top. You go. I thought you were going to gonna push me. <laughs> I know, I know. Three points of contact. Three points of contact. I put times. <laughs> this must be the spot that hmm? set, this must be the spot that they set online it's like a really good sunset view mm. so it's gonna set over there all oh, the layers oh <laughs> That's a lot of clouds down. Mm. We made it. Oh yeah. High five. <laughs> nice. Oh. It's always so good about just like airing out your feet. Oh yeah. It's so nice. Oh wow, that's dirty. Unfortunately, I think they're uh, I think they're using a generator to cook over there, so it's not the most like calm nature environment imaginable. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm too tired to move. <laughs> Is one of the cubes. Revenge curry. Revenge curry. This is revenge curry. <laughs> more? Is it more? Yeah, there's one more. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's Oh, yeah. Oh,
<laughs> so I think I may have said this before in the past, but I love Kamikochi. I think it's actually my favorite place in the whole of Japan, which is saying a lot because there's a lot of really beautiful places here, but Kamikochi tops it for me. I, I couldn't be more in love with this place if I tried. It's not perfect by any means. There's a couple of things that you should probably know before you go there, as well as a bunch of other information, which I will tell you in a minute, as well as some bloopers. But first, a quick ad break by this video's sponsor, Storyblocks. Storyblocks is a royalty-free demand-driven library that I use in pretty much all of my videos now. Uh, they've got libraries of over a million assets for you to use in your videos. They've got images, videos, sound effects, music, After Effects templates. They've really got everything that you could possibly need to make your videos happen. I use them mostly for sound effects in my videos. Uh, you probably wouldn't even notice though because they sound they sound real, they're like the, the best sound effects that you can find. They're also doing their best to make sure that their libraries have proper representation of people of color and people from LGBTQIA plus communities. It's a really, really, really wonderful website and if you're, if, if you're a video person, I know for a fact that it'll help you take your videos to the next level. So if you'd like to get started, go to storyblocks.com slash currentlyhannah and yep, when you support my sponsors, it helps support me. So thank you for helping yourself and helping me and thank you to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Oi. So yes, Kamikochi is my favorite place in Japan. Uh, however, one thing that you should definitely note if you are planning a trip to Kamikochi, whether or not you're hiking, um, is that private cars are not allowed inside the Kamikochi like national park area. So what a lot of people will do, you can stay overnight at Matsumoto maybe and then catch the bus early morning and that can take you around there. Which was fine but it means you gotta pay for a hotel at Matsumoto and then you gotta get the bus and the train. The timetables are always very confusing. So this time I was like this is great let's just catch an overnight bus from Osaka. And it was good because it was cheaper, you don't have to do as many transfers, but it wasn't that great because it wasn't a very comfortable bus. <laughs> that I, I, didn't, I didn't really sleep very much that night. It was just kind of a, a standard overnight bus, but um, you know, something to note if you're not very good at sleeping and especially if you're doing a really long hike that day. I'll put all the information in the description down below of like the bus company and the places that it picks you up from and all of that. I've actually started to realize that like since like the last hike that we did and then this hike as well, Kamikochi isn't the greatest place in the world to start your hikes from because to get to any of the trailheads, you've got to like you've got to walk like sometimes hours like to the, the previous big hike I did to Oku Hotaka. That one, the, the what's it called, the trailhead was like three hours walk away from Kamikochi. It, it kind of just eats time out of your day kind of thing. But this one as well, the hike to the top of Yakedake. From like the center of Kamikochi, it'll take about three to three and a half hours to get there, uh, to get to the hut. But then when we were hiking down, there, were, there was like these two girls and they were like, oh, like which side did you come from? And we were like, oh, Kamikochi. And she was like, oh, wow, okay. We just came from the other side. It was only an hour, uh, an hour hike up here, and I was like, "Damn, <laughs> I should have gone that way." But yeah, anyway, something to note, like when you're going to, and if you're doing any hiking, like around that area, different sides have very different times that you know it'll take you to get to the top. Maybe. If you're interested, I'll make a video about how I plan my trips. I guess like I'm, I'm used to it now, so it feels very normal, but I always forget that Japanese websites can be very confusing sometimes, especially bus schedules and timetables and all that. It's very, very confusing. So uh, yeah, maybe if you're interested, I would make a video like that. Also, thank you for all, the, all of the love from my previous video. I had no idea that it was gonna it was gonna be as popular as it was. I just always assume no one cares about like the average day-to-day -day stuff. Maybe I'll make that more of a thing on my channel, just once a month or once, probably not once a month, a million, <laughs> only uploading like two videos a month at the moment. Once every couple of months, maybe I'll make like a everyday life in Japan. This is my, my day-to-day. -day. I can't talk today. I don't know what's going on. I just, I keep sneezing as well. Is it like, is it hay fever? Can you get hay fever in autumn? Is that a thing? I also got like a runny nose and stuff. I hope it's hay fever. If not, it may be coronavirus. Anyway, uh, I've got some bloopers to show you. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. That's what I should have said first. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. It really, really means a lot to me. Thanks for putting up with me being really terrible at talking to the camera, even after doing this for almost five years now. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you, Storyblocks. Thank you, Chris, for helping me with 
everything, just always, all the time. <laughs> so helpful. Uh, and here's some bloopers. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, sorry. I need a genuine reaction. Pretend like you haven't seen it already. Wow. It's going to feel like Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> do it again, do it again. I'm so conscious. <laughs> You're just gonna steal that one? <laughs> Somebody else has put it back. 